This gynecological data I'm gathering here and just pointing out to YouTube in order to assess myself and compare it with the record of writing, such as all of those books behind me, such as the Bible, such as everything in writing. I'm taking a, a, a full documented approach to consider this as I handwrite a, a reason to accept that the 9,200-year-old fossil remain in Washington State provided me enough evidence with the 500-year delta between October 23, 4004 BC, the 6,000-year deduction, which is a very, very difficult deduction to work through in record-keeping of the Bible. It's a very, very difficult. We, I had to step outside of the, I had to step into history. Well, where did we keep this record? Well, we kept it over here on this website, gotquestions.internetcult.org, in the year 2020. So, in the year 2020, I'm recording myself just, okay, I accept that we have this record. It's the year is 2020, and all over this internet, it also says that record is invalid. So I have to make something of that invalid record, which is, let's use Newton. Newton is a simple chronologist, Newton chronology. The chronology of ancient kingdoms amended. So, ancient kingdoms. Amended. Sir Isaac Newton. Seventeen twenty eight. It gives us a range to begin with because we're looking at amended data after the year 1728 is really what we're looking at. Seventeen twenty eight. This is because this amended data from 1728 amended into the 1850 uh, data on Renaissance 
Era Minerchi. So 500 year amendment. So this amendment, 8,700 word composition, 8,700 word composition. So we've known that the Bible was invalid by 1728. So Newton in the school of time. Let's see. Read online. Jesus. University of Pennsylvania Press. North Division, where the experts are. Our media knows small businesses across the country are facing new challenges during the COVID-19 pandemic. So to help pandemic, we're the listening to the listening to the consequence of having the Bible in print on in this pandemic, this super pandemic period of Earth history. So we had this data in 1989. Absolutely, this is ancient data. 13th, 1728 University. Uh, the Corona. So let me. Looking for the publication date. Nineteen eighty nine. Press. The miles traveled and the shelves restocked for making a difference in our customers' lives. Everyone at the Kroger family of brands and our customers say thank you. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. And now for Founders Days, you can save on fresh, juicy strawberries. They're just $1.99 in the two-pound carton with card. Fred Meyer, fresh for everyone. You check things all the time, like your email every 10 seconds or your ex's Instagram. But what about checking something as important as your credit? Well, Discover makes it quick, easy, and best of all, free. Discover is now offering FICO credit scores, the score used by 90% of top lenders for free, even if you're not a customer. Checking your score won't hurt your credit. 1728 poses a dilemma for readers of his scientific works, quote-unquote, in his, quote-unquote, history, rather than approaching the scientists, scientists celebrated for unbraiding light, we discovered is searching, searching these ancient records for cataclysm in the solar systems or a former 
astronaut digging on Mount Ararat for the remains of Noah's Ark, which is a local flood we miscalculated Earth history with already in the 18th century. So 18th century data. More than 20 so years ago, well, Newton's that history that meant right there in the parking lot. It was bad. Newton's really history of uh, no paper. Right Newton's history. Newton's. Did that go? Oh, wow. To be decoded either by a cult definition or recourse to the scattered Newtonian archival case. We discover. Newton's occult procedures. Absolutely occult. It was dark. We did all sorts of stupid shit like this. Looking for... What are we looking for? We were looking for a magic poofing. Uh, chronology. He was challenging the knowledge of the church is like, I'm going back and I'm doing it myself. We had this all over the place because this was data to be reinterpreted and revalidated. And here, Newton's occult. were translated into the difficult to interpret occult procedures. This is why I need to turn the occult off for you. Get you out of hell. Okay. Where'd that go? And remain an occult oddity. Absolutely. Why do you do it? Written in the language that we. That awaited to. Decoded either by a cult divination or by recourse (laughs) 
to the scattered Newtonian archive. So we have a scattered Newtonian archive after 1728 we need to parse through. So we'll have something to do after we... Newton appeared to be an eccentric water. Wandering Occult Chronology published by Newton to me appeared, so I'll go through this. Formless and aimless, yep. Eccentric. Formless. And empty wandering record of prehistory, of legend of prehistory. All we have are le legends to work with. The history of the occult, absolutely. We, here we're. Digging through some crazy stuff. <laughs> Fits into an ongoing tradition. That's page 19. That's, fits into an ongoing. Can I go to the next page? No, probably not. Just. Uh, article. Preview. Yeah. That's even that was enough information. It's in writing. The uh, how old is complicated battle over nine thousand? So the 1996 pub, uh, finding published in 
So this 1996 discovery is nothing new. It just fits right into how far off we are and why we need this average age of energy into all of the Bible verses that I'm taking out to David to understand when I'm done putting all of the Bible verses with God and Moses speaking face to face, side by side, the Bible will look at a whole lot more rational than a 6,000 year old legend. We have to put God back into the Bible because the 6,000 year old legend actually took God out of the Bible over at God Questions, the internet cult, or when they just kept a legend and did not confirm at the average age of Minerchi and that they were just wrong using this technology typing. Typical dense Baptist. I'm not impressed with us at all. Who <laughs> we have encephalite. <laughs>